this week I went over to a couple of instant rooms that are that are running um, at the moment. So um, we've got the, the instant room running into the investigation into the dreadful um, uh, death of Cameron Logan yeah, and Ewan yeah. Johnston in Glasgow. So I went over and met both the SIOs and they talked me through where they were the jobs. I mean, inevitably, my job is not going out on patrol. And it's got to be, it's, things have got to go badly wrong if it really does require the Chief Constable to be out on patrol. But what I do try and do is keep in touch with as many staff as possible, speak to them, understand what it is they want to deliver because they're, they're passionate about the service that they have joined. Um, but inevitably a lot of it is about how we're going to organise ourselves over the next few years to produce a model of policing that's both sustainable in terms of finances and fit for purpose operationally to confront, as I say, some of the crime disorder, social challenges that we know are coming our way, Men mental health, dementia, changing nature of the population, all of these are going to throw up real issues for policing over the next um, few years. You talked there about uh, the investigation into um, the fire that killed Cam and Logan and, and your officers who are involved in that. That must be their top priority. That must be, you know, mm -hmm. it really <coughs> has to be top. As you say, you've been at the briefing, that must come through. Um, I, I know how determined uh, those officers and, and the officers investigating all serious crime across Scotland. And again, um, we, we are providing, Police Scotland, not me, the officers and the men and women in this organisation are providing world-class service. I, I, I was speaking to, um, I'm sure you won't mind me saying so, but the former Lord Advocate Frank Mulholland when I first arrived, and what he was saying to me was that since the creation of Police Scotland, the overall standard of major investigations uh, is light years ahead of where it was. Now, there were clearly great examples, but that ability for us to provide real top-end investigative capability anywhere across this nation. Now, that simply wasn't available under the previous arrangements. I'm not denigrating them, but what I am saying, uh, and there are plenty of people who would support this position, is the overall ability to provide, thankfully, rarely when it, you know, it is needed relatively rarely, but a real top-end response, be it to a weather event like flooding when I first arrived this time last mm. year. We were surging uniform officers across the country in a relatively seamless way that wouldn't have been possible under the old arrangements. We can land brilliant investigative uh, ability anywhere in the country. But, but you know, actually we all joined, I think, out of a sense of public duty, out of a desire to protect our fellow citizens and, you know, contribute. And what I see, both in terms of our response to serious crime, our response to the sorts of challenges we saw last weekend around the football and Hogmanay, is men and women doing a fantastic job for us.